Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. My name is Mike, and I'm a Technical Product Marketing Manager at Forward Networks. In today's Demo Tuesday, we will see how Forward Networks can ensure that your zero trust policies are being enforced and traffic is passing through the correct enforcement points and not trying to go around any policies that you have set. Let's take a look at a few ways Forward could help in this situation. So the first thing we can do is we can create a security posture map. This allows you to visualize connectivity from a 100-foot view. The posture map shows connectivity in the following. So red means there's no connectivity, yellow means there's partial connectivity, and green means there's full connectivity. If you see a gray X, that means there's no route in between those two areas of the network. These posture maps can be created in a number of ways. So for instance, if you were looking to do it for on-prem devices, we can do it for VRFs, devices, and subnets. In the cloud, cloud subnets and cloud security groups, and we can also do it based upon zones on a firewall. You can mix and match how you set these up so you can get a full picture of what your segmentation or zero trust policy looks like. So let's create a mixed one together. So we're gonna click Add New Matrix. We're gonna call this Demo Tuesday. In our resource pool, we're going to pick a security zone from our PAN 1A device, and we want the internal network. Then we're going to add a cloud resource pool. We're gonna name this Cloud Resource. Sorry, I need to learn how to spell. R-E-S-C-O-U-R-S-C. -E -E. Nope. We're just going to abbreviate that today because my brain isn't working. And we're going to add some cloud subnets. So we're going to search for DB. We're going to search for backend. We're going to search for US marketing. And we're going to do marketing two and marketing one. And we're going to do US sales two. When we click next, we have the ability to choose the cloud security groups we want to focus on. We just want to look at them all. So we're going to click any. Then we're going to click next. We're going to confirm the resource pool that we're going to add, and we're going to click done. We're going to make sure everything looks okay over here. We have a name. We're not excluding any protocols, and we're not setting a timeout. When we click add, we see that the Demo Tuesday pool is created. So now let's take a look at what we see, because we see there's some partial connectivity between this small zone matrix that we configured. So we can see this, this source can get to these destinations on port 22, which could be right. So let's take a look and make sure that this traffic is passing through some kind of enforcement point. So when we do view sample path, we see that it indeed is. So it is going up through our firewall VPC, and it is being scrutinized by the firewall. So this particular posture map is showing us that for this particular flow that our zero trust policy or our segmentation policy looks correct. Another way that we can do this is by using our path trace tool. So if we come into search, and if we wanted to look for a specific search. So we're going to go from, we're going to pick a host. So we're going to go from 10.5, 6.215. And we want to go to our destination IP address of 10.5.9.198. And we want to make sure that it always goes through our firewall that sits inside of AWS. So we want to look for PAN 1A. And we kind of already saw what happened before I put the through in. So we can see that there are no paths between here. But when I take through out, we can see that there is connectivity to it, but some cloud guy went in and did something he shouldn't have and created a um, VPC peering connection. Uh, that is against our security policy. And sometimes these cloud guys just go in and do whatever they wanted. Hold on. Sorry, sorry about that. Upset a cloud guy. So uh, let's put that back in and we wanna make sure it goes through that firewall. And the reason why I'm putting that back in 
is because we can turn this into an intent check. So you can ensure that when you tell them to fix it and they go back in and they do it again, you don't have to constantly rerun this query. So when we, we can come in, we can do save as intent. And we want to, we, so we want this as a existence check. So we want to make sure that there's at least one possible path. And that would be through the firewall. We're going to leave the search parameters the way that it is. We're going to click next. We're going to give this a name. So uh, marketing to sales always through firewall VPC. The intent, I'm just going to cheat and the intent's going to be the same. We're not going to set any tags. We're going to set the priority to high because this is a high severity, at least in this organization, a high severity thing that they would want to be notified about. And then we're going to click create intent. So now that intent is created. And anytime we run a collection, the intent checks will be looked at. And if this intent check does violate, we can notify you in several different ways, a webhook into another web platform, uh, a, we actually tie into ServiceNow, and we can create an incident ticket off of that. We can send emails. We can also set pop-ups to show up inside of the platform when you log in. Are there any questions on this? I'm going to pause for a few seconds, do a little dance, let my heart rate come down because that, that pesky cloud guy tried to take my head off. Could be because of the shirt that I'm wearing. Could be because I said they do whatever they want. But hey, cloud guys and network guys have that, you know, love-hate relationship. All right. So if we didn't get to your question or you're watching this as recording and you do have a question, please feel free to put it in the chat and we will answer it as soon as we see it. Want to give Forward a try? Head on over to quest.forward.app. You can pick a persona, cloud, security, or network, and be put through real examples inside of the platform. If you complete all three personas, we'll send you a free shirt. You could also head on over to our Bright Talk channel and watch some of our webinars on demand. Some of them include how to talk to your network, introducing generative AI for network digital twins by Nikhil, one of our co-founders, or Five network issues that a digital twin can solve in under a week with another one of our with another one of our co-founders, Brandon. We have something very special tomorrow happening. So tomorrow, February 28th, we will be presenting at Network Field Day. Tune in at 11 a.m. Eastern or 8 a.m. Pacific by going to techfieldday.com and clicking on Network Field Day 34. Have a great day and see you guys on the stream tomorrow.